What's going on guys and welcome to the very first episode of Playing It Wrong, a brand new series where I play Dreamcast games in the most wrong way possible. And in this first episode we're going to be playing Crazy Taxi, except more Safety Taxi as I am going to be following the rules of the road. I guess you can call this kind of a mixture of Tokyo Bus Guide and Crazy Taxi. Because I have to actually go the speed limits and uh, use turn signals and things like that. Although there are no actual turn signals in Crazy Taxi, at least that I can use. I don't know if the uh, the CPU players use turn signals when they change lanes. We might actually figure that out. Uh, but anyway, we're going to jump into this and uh, we'll see how it goes. I don't know how possible this is going to be to actually play the game in this manner. But uh, we'll see. Uh, you may also notice I've swapped out the music in the background because the music that is normally in Crazy Taxi, well, first off, is going to get me a uh, copyright claim. But uh, secondly, it's way too crazy for the uh, the way I'm going to be playing the game. So I've replaced it with some nice, relaxing music. So uh, hopefully you guys like it. Copyright free, of course. So uh, we're, we're going to pick the the least crazy looking driver, which is probably Gus. I mean, he's an old man. He's probably going to drive slow anyway. So I guess it's kind of fitting. All right, let's do this. Uh, there's no actual speedometer in Crazy Taxi, so I don't know what speed I'm actually going. But uh, I'm going to try and drive the same speed as the other cars in the road, or approximately at least. Again, I can't use turn signals or anything like that, so... So I, I, I'll have to kind of wing it as far as following the rules of the road. I don't think there are any stop signs or anything like that in Crazy Taxi either. I mean, maybe there are and I just never noticed them. Usually you're going at such crazy speeds that you don't notice a whole lot. So I may actually notice some things about this game that I've never noticed before. Going at this very reasonable pace. Hey, there we go. That wasn't so bad. I got uh, the passenger to their destination and still got a normal score, so that's not too bad at all. Alright, you're next. Come on, lady. You want to go to the beach? Sure. I'm going to get you uh, to the beach very safely. Everyone is going to be in one piece when we get to the beach. You know, you definitely don't want to be losing any limbs or anything like that before you get to the beach. Then you're going to have a very hard time swimming, so... Uh, these cars are... They do stop every once in a while, I guess... I mean, there's no stop sign or anything. I guess they're they're just playing it safe. Which, which is exactly what I'm doing. I'm playing it safe. Um, okay, I'm, just, I'm gonna try and weave my way through because I don't have... Oh, shoot. I'm trying not to hit other vehicles, but it, it's difficult. It's very difficult. Especially when I'm, I'm trying to get the, the passenger to where they need to go, but at the same time, I'm, I'm trying to be very, very safe. It, it's a difficult um, compromise to make in this game. <laughs> and this is Crazy Taxi and not Safety Taxi. I'm sure you can have some fun with Safety Taxi, but... Probably not as much fun as with Crazy Taxi. <laughs> I, I can definitely see why Sega did not make Safety Taxi. Go ahead and pick a car and driver. Gus. Although it could work. You know, Tokyo Bus Guide works. I mean, it's a bit of a niche game, but it works. I like the game personally. But uh, I can see a lot of people getting very bored with uh, with Tokyo Bus Guide. Right here. I think my goal here is just to bring two passengers to where they need to go. If I can do that, I'll, I'll say mission accomplished. Because I don't think one is enough. I don't think one is enough to say that you can safely play Crazy Taxi. I, excuse me, excuse me, I need to get through. I'm very tempted to go on the sidewalk or on the wrong side of the road, but... <laughs> I mean, technically, I passed that person in a very wrong way. But I'm making a bit of a compromise. I may not be the safest driver in the world, but I'm, I'm a lot safer than than the average crazy taxi player. So I'll take that. Alright. Okay, I don't want to go too fast. I don't want to go too fast, but just fast enough. Just enough speed. Let's go! 
Stop telling me what to do. I, these passengers, I'll tell you, I, I think I scraped that vehicle back there a bit. That's fine. They can buff it out. It'll buff out. It's fine. Uh, that, yeah, that'll buff out too. <laughs> yeah, don't tell me what to do. I know where I'm going. I have an, a giant arrow ab above my taxi, if you haven't noticed, lady. See, the peer pressure is real. These passengers really, really want me to go above the speed limit and drive like a maniac, but I'm not going to do it. I will not give in to peer pressure. Well, I brought two passengers to where they needed to go, so mission accomplished. I made 640 bucks. Hey, I mean, you make a fortune in this game, regardless of how many customers you bring to where they need to go, because 640 bucks? for that small distance that I traveled at, that's like three minutes of work for 600 bucks. That's a payday right there. <laughs> so, I mean, you can you can be safe in Crazy Taxi and still make buck. It, it's perfectly possible. Are you gonna have as much fun as driving like a maniac? Probably not. But you can play Crazy Taxi safely. So, there you go, folks. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video here. This has been the first episode of Playing It Wrong. I will definitely be playing more Dreamcast games incorrectly in the future. If you have any suggestions as to what games I should play wrong, let me know in the comments down below. You can let me know how you want me to play them as well, and uh, I'll see if I can do it in a future video. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.